five, six, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, five, right, and, oh, oh man, wait, come on Mandy, let me see your version of twerking. Pose. Oh. In this video, we'll be discussing the Netflix original, Work It. Can you work it like us? Oh. Welcome to Chicks Watching Flicks. I'm Holly. I'm Mandy Lee Thompson. And I'm Katie Lee. And today we are reviewing the Netflix original film. What's it work called? It. Work, work, work It! Work It! I couldn't remember if it was like working it or if it was like. Oh, wait, is it working oh, it? Exactly. Work it. It's right. like, oh, there's a dance team going and it's like, well, work it! Right. Thank <laughs> you for that definition, Katie. <laughs> when Quinn Ackerman's stupid name. Admission to the college of her dreams depends on her performance at a dance competition. She forms a ragtag group of dancers to take on the best squad in school. Now she just needs to learn how to dance. What? what? Guys, this movie is one hour and 33 minutes long, rated TV 14. <laughs> Overall opinions, let's get to it. Mand? I said it once and I'll say it again. Ragtag indeed. Mm. Um, this movie used the pitch perfect formula mm. to a T, but I don't care. I was living for it. I loved every second of it. They nailed it. It was a formulaic movie, but they nailed it. Formulaic wow. movie. Kane, what are your thoughts? Um, I guess it's like a cheesy modern day version of Dirty Dancing. Yeah, that's right. I, I thought the same thing. Yeah, um, it was cute. But I thought it was like on like, it could have been on like Disney Channel or something like that. Ah. It was cute though. You know, nothing special. Yeah, uh, this movie was cute. I mean, and like Mandy said, formulaic. I mean, it's a high school girl looking to fulfill her dream any way she knows how. She's got daddy issues. She's got, <laughs> she, got it, she got all the problems any white girl in, in suburbia could ever wish for. <laughs> there were some bright spots to this movie, definitely. I loved the focus on the dance because, and like, like other movies like Kissing Booth, no offense, I mean, this has a skill associated with this movie, and they really showcase the dance so, so well. Girls, let's get to our favorite segment. Let's talk about acting! Dancing. Oh, dancing. No, <laughs> acting. <laughs> I mean, that's clever. <laughs> Thanks. Clever. Okay. First, let's start with the star. What is her name? Mm -hmm. Sabrina Carpenter, who plays Quinn Ackerman. Um, I thought she was cute, you know, I thought she was good, that's it. Um, I think she's an up and coming star because she's been in uh, quite a few things mm -hmm. recently, but not like any major roles, so I don't know, she's very char charismatic. Oh, charismatic. Charismatic. This character is me. Oh no, mm -hmm. no. Yeah. This character was still way cooler than you. She still danced way better than you. Even when she couldn't dance? Even when she couldn't dance. She, like, the, the things you have in common are you have good grades. <laughs> way harsh, Hal. You have good grades. I think Mandy's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, let's talk about somebody else. Ka Ky Kynan Lonsdale? Mm -hmm. Yes, so he's, he's Australian. Oh, divergent. Yeah, well, we first saw him in Dance Academy, and he has a beautiful role in that um, TV series, and there's a movie that comes on later in life. And he's really, really great in that. And, like, he's okay in this. He did not stand out to me in the slightest, and he actually had a really good role also in Divergent and Insurgent yeah. and all that. I think I liked it so much because I've seen him play other roles that are completely different than this, so I didn't know he had this kind of character in him, and I really, and I love watching I him really dance. I liked him. I don't know. Let's talk about um, Lisa Kashi, who plays Jazz. Oh. Love her. She was so 
like she popped off the screen. Oh yeah. That girl was fresh yes. and fierce. Yes. She's like like a classic, like what we grew up with, the comedians, like the, the young comedians on Nickelodeon or yeah. like yeah. She was great. I really liked her and she could really, really dance and she was so yeah. dare I say charismatic. Ah. I was going to say refreshing. <laughs> oh, that too. Her hilarious scene in the mattress store with the guy with his shirt off. Even I was like, oh, but that's oh, when I was oh. like, okay, the lead is definitely Mandy. And then as soon as that, the mattress scene happened, I was like, oh, that's, that's Holly. You all son the way. of a bitch. <laughs> um, guys, let's talk about, um, Jordan Fisher. Mm. He's so handsome. He's a young stud. I really wonder if he's like super arrogant in real life. I hope no, not. I, I hope not. But he's just so good. He's, he's so, so cute. Talented. He was really refreshing on the screen. <laughs> oh, cheers, cheers. <laughs> just cheers. He was really, really good. He can fisher me anytime. Woo! Okay. <laughs> okay. This was a fun movie to watch. I'm not trying to like. No, so, but it's but is this a fun movie. any? Is it a work of art? It's no. better yes. than Kissing Booth Two. <laughs> uh, I beg to differ. It's better than Kissing Booth Two. When they play, and this was totally they stole it right out of Pitch Perfect One and Two. So the mother drops that her pump up song is Get Up, oh, yes. oh. Gloria, and then they play it at the end. Yeah. And then the mom coming to watch the show when she's really angry at the daughter. You know she's gonna be cheering that bitch on oh, the end. Of course. Like, oh, and bring it on, they play Cliff's song in the end, like in his, um, in their big, like the throwback. Oh, by the way, this movie starts out with classic, terrible narration that we don't freaking need. Surprise, surprise. And in that terrible narration, she goes, she's like, colleges these days, they want to see your curriculars. How about the colleges since, uh, forever? Like... You know what I mean? That's not like, a new that's thing. That's not fucking new. No, I know. Like colleges these days. Oh yeah, bitch, you have it so hard. Anyway. Uh huh. <laughs> I think the reason you get so angry about narration in the beginning is because you do that to your own life all the time. No, I you know that. you do. I have to agree though. I bet you that's why she doesn't like it because she's like, today I saw Stephanie. She was looking fierce. She's a pigsty. Pig she's a pigsty. <laughs> Girls, what would you give this movie as a rating on a scale of one to five? Five being the best, one being the worst. Man, 5.0. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You scared me. 3.9. Okay. Cade, what's your rating? 2.9. Hmm. Very interesting. I feel a lot of pressure all of a sudden. I'm gonna go 3.75. Well, fellow movie buffs, that's it for today. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave us a comment below. Did you watch Work It? Are you a dancer? What did you think of all the dancing in this film? And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button, that little notification bell. Join the Chicks of Legend of Flicks family and you will be in the know when all of our upcoming videos come out. All right, guys, that's it for Chicks Watching Flicks. I'm Holly. I'm Mandy Lee Thompson. And I'm Katie Lee. And we will see you next time, baby. And... Set up. Drop. Set up. Drop. Set up. I'm doing the wrong one. God damn it, Mandy. Drop.